the key to building your business with Infusionsoft or any CRM, email marketing, sales and marketing automation tool is here on the right. Process before login, okay? Software is just a tool. The profit is in the process. Uh, so I wanted to go over an update that I made to this little handout. I made a video, I don't know, almost a couple years ago uh, going through this, but it's a little bit more visual. I'm working on even making this as a book or a little workbook uh, that you can keep on your desk. Uh, probably going to make it as a laminated tool that you can write on. You see on the next page here. Uh, imagine that being like something laminated. You could write some ideas down, or maybe I make it as, as a regular workbook uh, with a lot of pages. You can just work on various campaigns. You know, as entrepreneurs, we need things written out. We need them uh, visual. Uh, that's just how we operate typically. And I don't know, mind map software, I, I've, I've used all of them. I just rarely go back and look at them. But, you know, paper, and I don't know if you can see that, big old whiteboards, 12-foot whiteboards, uh, those, uh, they're visual, they keep things in front of us, they help us flesh things out, uh, so that's why we do it. But I want to go through this, uh, in this in this updated fashion so you can see um, th the thought process, you know, the process before login on anything you're going to launch with any platform, okay? This could be for trade shows, this could be for a PPC launch, I don't care what. But in this case, you know, my example project, I am actually doing this right now for the Art of the Close. Uh, it's a sales training program that I have. So here you see the top, the ideal route. One, two, three, they go to four. Uh, they go to an upsell, right, from four, like five, and six uh, with various upsells throughout. Uh, so in this ideal route, I'm going to send an email to my existing list inviting them to attend the Art of the Close webinar. Uh, what is in it for them? In a nutshell, learn how to sell better. Okay, learn how to sell better this month. Uh, what is the effect? So cause and effect, right? Uh, as long as you have a good W-I-I-F-T, then the effect should happen. Uh, but the effect is they open the email. And don't take this for granted. You need to spend a lot of time making sure you craft the message in such a way, with such a good headline, with such a great opening sentence and an opening paragraph, uh, and a clear uh, call to action with lots of benefits that they do open the email, all right? So they open it, now they read it. So the next step, uh, they open it, they read it, and they get here and they click on the link to register. So then where do they go, all right? They arrive at some type of landing page. Uh, I personally use lead pages. Uh, if you want to use my affiliate link and show some love, you can go to the saleswhisperer.com forward slash LP. And that will forward over to uh, Lead Pages, which is what I've used for about a year now. Uh, great company, great tools. Uh, it's really paid off for me. Uh, so I encourage you to take a peek at that. Uh, so they register for your webinar. Again, an ideal route. Uh, you take them to an upsell page. Now, look, most of us are happy. Hey, they opened my email, they clicked, they registered. You're right. That's a great success. You're ahead of your competition. But if you really want to smoke your competition and obliterate them, think through the, uh, the upsell, okay? You can make money before the webinar even begins, okay? They've already registered, and I have sold various products on the thank you page, okay? You give them a great offer. Obviously, it needs to be something that does not conflict with what you may be selling on your webinar. Uh, but think that through, okay, and, and give some type of one-time only offer on this thank you page. Now, again, we're going through the ideal route here. So uh, from here, you know, you then will send the confirmation and the reminders. Uh, you know, what's the effect? They attend the webinar. Maybe they invite others, okay? Uh, but you see this ideal route pro tip. Send a series of reminders, seven days, three days, one day before, and even the day of, the morning of. Uh, and to really get snazzy, uh, do SMS marketing. Depending on the platform, it may send a text message reminder for you. Uh, but look into other tools. I use a couple of tools uh, from people that I know through the Infusionsoft community, uh, other partners. So if you want to talk about uh, SMS marketing, uh, visit thesaleswhisper.com, leave a comment here. Uh, go to the Contact Us page and, and send me a, a question, and we'll set up a time to talk. Uh, but this is the ideal route, okay? Now, a couple of words of caution uh, and recommendations. You see on the ideal route, um, if they bought upsell number one, 
have an upsell number two, okay? Um, and you see here, you never know when they're done buying until they say no. So most people don't even have an upsell one. People will take you up on that. You know, it's roughly the 80-20 rule. So you can extrapolate this out. If you have a big list, you could theoretically have a dozen upsells and at least one person would finally end up taking that last upsell at a very high price. So think through that. What are some things you could be upselling them uh, after they register? Now, again, this is the ideal route that we went through. Now you see some alternate, uh, alternates here, alternative paths uh, that could happen. Alternate one is they don't open the first email. Alternate two is they open but don't click. Three is they click but don't register. Uh, Alternate four is they register but do not attend. Number five, they attend but do not buy. If all this is hurting your head, you're not alone. Okay, in the beginning, if this is new to you, don't try to do all this. Okay, at a minimum, map this out. Come up with a good headline. Come up with a good call to action. Get people to click and open and register, and that's a win. Because all of these can be added on. Okay, regardless of the tool you use, but I know for sure with Infusionsoft, you can add steps later on. Okay, so launch this out. I don't care if your list is 100 people. That's fine. Get started. You know, get 10 to register, get 5 to show up. You know, get 15 to register, get, get 5 or 4 to, to show up. Usually you'll see a 20 to 30% attendance rate. Um, and then make a sale. All right, and then manually push out the email later with the replay. Okay. So get started and then start to work on the alternates. So alternate ones is they don't open that first email, then figure out how long will you wait? You know, 15 minutes may be too much or too fast. Uh, maybe a day later you send another email out. Hey, uh, maybe you missed this, wanted to send it to you again. All right, they open but don't click. Depending on the software, a lot of them will tell you if the email was opened. Uh, usually they're not 100% accurate. Clicks are 100% accurate, uh, but opens are pretty accurate. But again, you can send an email. Hey, looks like you were checking things out. Maybe something uh, came up and you couldn't finish registering. Here's the link again for you to register. Okay, and the same thing here. They click but don't register. So you can see this cause and effect or the cause and what's in it for them is very similar. You know, hey, learn to sell better this month. But you can send essentially the same email with slight modifications uh, a day or two apart to get them to register. Because if they're not opening, if they're not taking action, uh, they probably aren't reading it. If they are reading it, maybe, again, they just got busy. A lot of times people just need to be reminded. And when there's a deadline, there you'll see more people responding and registering as the deadline approaches. So don't be afraid to send out several nudges uh, asking them to register. Okay, and when they do, remember, they're going to go right back up here. Uh, you're going to redirect them to the upsell page, and things continue uh, just like normal because now they have opted in. You know, last couple, what happens if they don't attend? You're going to send a reminder email, hey, here's what you missed. You know, maybe an hour or two. You can preset that to run. Uh, so here's what you missed. Here are the bonuses. Hey, they're only good for 12 hours, for 24 hours, for 72 hours, so whatever that call to action is. Uh, again, you're going to send reminders. Uh, hey, the shopping cart is closing. Hey, this deal comes off the table. You only have one day left. You only have 12 hours left. So depending on what you're selling, depending on your audience, you know, you're going to keep dripping and nudging on them. Finally, uh, you know, they attend but don't buy. It's basically the same thing we talked about there. So how can you get them uh, to buy so they attended so maybe there's something that they missed maybe there's something they didn't quite believe uh, have some bonuses in mind that you can throw in to sweeten the pot uh, now uh, realistically you'd want to give those bonuses to everybody that did register and purchase you know at the webinar but you can position them or present them maybe in a different light uh, to entice those that attended but did not buy all right so think through this uh, if this helps, let me know. Uh, I can get you a PDF version of this. Uh, but I, like I said, I am working on a printed version uh, that you could buy and keep it on your desk. So if that could be of use to you, please leave some comments. As, as I see the interest, I'll go ahead and, and finish this up and put it into print. So I hope this helps. Uh, so go forth and prosper. Remember to automate, integrate, and dominate. Good selling.